Hey, it's Big T. We're uh, going to tie a fly that I like to use today uh, in competitive fishing kind of at the end of my beat when I've exhausted the water and feel like I am trying to pull that last fish out. Um, it's a good go-to pattern uh, at times when you feel like uh, you've tried just about everything else. Uh, it gets a good reaction bite. This is a I guess it's kind of like a peach woolly booger, but I tie this uh, a lot differently. I guess I need to come up with a name for it. The first thing I'm going to do is put a little bit of Zappa Gap on that hook shank. And then wrap with some .20 lead. This is a three and a half millimeter bead. I don't want this fly on this particular fly for its purpose to be too heavy. And I like the lead wraps to add bulk. What that glue is going to do is keep that from rolling around on me. Uh, this is a Danville 70 denier. It's a fluorescent pink thread. And I'm going to wrap that from back up for no particular reason because for some reason I want to tend to start there and, and cover that lead a good bit this hook is a number I believe that's a number 8 2x nymph hook I'll have this in my store along with the tungsten beads soon this is a peach uh, quilled marabou and what I'm going to do is actually strip some of these backwards which is going to just leave me this tip piece and I'm going to tie that in right behind the lead wraps and if you notice on this fly, I like that tail to actually start before the hook bend because uh, they have a tendency to short strike on occasion and this will stop a little bit of that. Um, then I'm going to take the feather and if you see I've got it where it's uh, the, the cut pieces are there and I'll be able to trim that out. And what that does for me is it allows me to get a more natural looking piece to add the bulk I'd like to this tail. And just give it a little bit more than that first shot. And if you'd like even more, then you can do that a second time. That one I don't think I trimmed back far enough. I don't really know that it matters, but I don't like straight cut tail ends unless it's occurring naturally on the feather. Alright, so we've got that done. I really want to cover this well with this thread because the dubbing I'm going to use, and I'm actually going to use a dubbing instead of hackle on this, will create a translucent effect. So you'll be able to see through this in essence. It's almost like having a clear shell on the outside of the fly. It's a super neat dubbing. It's Spirit Rivers Mysis White UV2 dubbing. Uh, and actually, Hairline recently acquired uh, Spirit River. So it looks like I'll be able to carry this in my store here in the near future, which is nice because this is a fly I enjoy using. What I'm going to do is take out a, a clump of this and kind of spread it out so it's about like that. I'm going to take 
my thread and make a dubbing loop. And so I've used a dubbing loop tool. I'm actually going to carry that thread behind the loop and then wrap up to the top. So I now have a loop here that I can use to insert this dubbing. And then we're going to twist that dubbing loop. By using a dubbing loop tool it will twist these fibers in, in the uh, thread to make sure they're secured. Another thing you can do, yep, just drop that, is lay a tool up here and twist. But as you see, that's trapped these fibers inside the thread. And now I'm going to wrap this big noodle, and yes, it is a large noodle around that fly. Secure that dubbing loop down real well. Trim off the excess. I'm going to create a hot spot. Put a little zappa gap on the thread and make a wrap and then whip finish this. And then lastly I'm going to take a dubbing brush if I can find mine. Here it is. Uh, and this is just actually a gun cleaning tool that I've put some velcro on the other side of, but it's also got a metallic brush. I'm going to brush this out. You can't see the fluorescent pink underbody right now, but trust me, when this thing gets wet, you're going to love that look because it will absolutely create almost a clear shell over top of that fluorescent pink thread that will be visible through that fly. So I think we're going to call that the crystal crystal shell peach booger. And uh, it's a great fly. I use it a lot when I'm struggling to catch fish. It will get a great reaction bite. I hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe to my channel, Big T Fly Fishing, and uh, feel free to visit my store uh, for any of your tying material needs.